Hey, Jack's going to the blues. We're going to make a bolognese sauce. Bolognese sauce is like grab, uh, mom's apple pie or you, know, you name it. Somebody's a rib, rib recipe. Everybody's got their own. Everybody's got their own style, so. Some put red wine, some put, some put red wine in there, some put white wine, but we're gonna use red. Okay, so I'm gonna let that just, I'm gonna a little salt and pepper. Just be careful in the beginning. You can always add it in later. It was hard to take it out. So check this out. I know it's a different recipe, but we got a little bit of pork fat. I'm just going to take a little bit of that pork fat in here. Okay? Always save your fat. So, so check this out. I'll show you how to dice. Easy dice on a carrot. Look. Boom. Okay. Real nice, nice fine dice. You know, texture, texture is everything in this recipe. Yeah. See that? Pull that out. We don't waste, don't waste any pepper. Keep that door open, uh, Steve. Would you? Hey, okay. just take a little bit extra minute. Cut it. Cut everything nice and uniform. I don't cut off. I keep my knife on the angle so does it slice all the way through. Same here. I don't cut all the way through. Then get to the end. Same here. Careful on this one. With your fingers. Okay. We got our beef going. We're gonna brown that up a little bit more before we add our veg in. Put some chopped garlic. I like, I like garlic, I like a good amount of garlic. Okay. Okay, we'll let that go. And we'll be right back. Back on the bowling eggs. Put our veg in now. Okay. Let those flavors cook together for a while. Let that veg uh, soften up. Almost there. So, Alta Cucina, the best tomato, Stanislaus products. So we're gonna take a couple, crush them up. You know, it's real good.
Okay, add a little bit of the juice, the puree. You can use, if you don't have, you know, whole tomatoes, you can use a little bit of tomato paste. So I like to, you know, let everything cook together in this step. Let the tomatoes and uh, everything cook. Then we'll add our red wine. Okay. And a little bit of Cabernet. Like here, here's the stuff. You want to use white wine. If you got a lot of veal in there and pork, you might want to use a little white wine, you know. But I'm, I have predominantly red, all, all beef in here. You can, you can render down a little bacon if you want some bacon in there too. More like a bourguignon, you know, but. We have about a cup. We got about like three pounds of meat. So probably a cup and a half. See that nice color? We'll see how that, when it cooks down, we'll see how that tastes. We're gonna add, add some of the herbs later on. I'm gonna put a little oregano, a little bit of tarragon, adjust the seasoning. But bring that, I'm gonna put that on the back burner. I just let it simmer down nice and slow. You cook that on a fall day in your house, you know, that smell, you know? I'm telling you, the kids won't stray far from the house. They're gonna stay close, because they know dinner's on the table. And somebody was saying today, it was right on, right on, uh, right on NPR, National Public Radio, you know, the, these, uh, you know, people are getting food and boxes delivered to their house because they're too lazy, or too busy. I don't, I don't want to buy into that too busy. They haven't planned for it properly. You know, they get around 4.30, 5 o'clock, they're on their way home. You get nothing in the refrigerator. They go, they drop by the grocery store, it's packed. What do they do? They go through a drive through They don't plan ahead, you know? Instead of on your iPhones and, and uh, iPads and watching TV, go to the grocery store, shop for the week. Put some stuff in the freezer that you can thaw out in the morning. You know, my mother, like I always say, my mother, we, she went shopping on a Sunday, planned, she went shopping on a Monday for the whole week. And, uh, you know, I'm sure she'd go back to the store for a roast for a Sunday or something, but we look forward to our meals. Like at breakfast, we say, Mom, what's for dinner? Spaghetti and meatballs. We didn't fill up on junk, because you know what? We want to eat that good stuff. So, you know, plan your meals and get back into cooking, you know, it's, it's good for the family, good for the environment, right, Gaspar? Yeah. For your familial environment. So here, uh, enough of my soapbox. Woo! Woo! Look at this, Bob. Woo! Cat, cat-like reflexes, Bob. You see that? Good bring people together. Yeah. Sure does. You leave that in, Bob. I'm gonna add in some tomato paste. Does about three tablespoons. You know, I want a little bit more thicker consistency. That 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 puree off the tomato just wasn't wasn't doing it for me. See, I and then uh, that tomato paste to give it a little sweetness too. So we'll just cook that a little bit longer. I'm gonna cook some linguine. I'll show you how we're going to finish it off. I'm adding just a little bit of dried basil and a little bit of dried oregano. You got that oregano? And there's a good pinch. I don't like too much oregano, really, sm unless it's fresh, but real strong. But see how that brought it together? It's still, you know, you got a little bit of oil on it, so when it sets, that oil, the grease will come to the top. You skim that off. So, so anyway, I thought I had uh, angel hair, I mean linguine, but I have angel hair. So here's what we'll do, a couple spoons of bonnets. This is how it was taught by Carlo Galazzo. And I always, they always put a little cream. Actually they cook. The real bolognese, they cook it with, they, when they cook it, they cook it with milk. Dude, there's 
about three quarter cooked, but I'm gonna take it out and put it in. Hey Manny, you strain this for me? Yeah, I'll give it a little more. No. Let that boil up before we start tossing it. That's some good Parmesan. What else, Bob? Green onion. Okay. Grab me a fork. Fork. That's it. That's the bolognese. Tough job, Bob. Somebody's got to do it. Do it the Italian way, right? It's a little salt and pepper you want, but I like it. Want to try it, guys, Mark? Yeah. Want to try a little bit? No. Grab a fork. You know, it's funny with pasta. It's all the same ingredients. But I always say, like, texture. The shape of the pasta, it all tastes different, even though it's the same, same basic ingredients. See, I think, I think the proper way to do this is to uh, I think once you twirl it. But so once you twirl it, I think you're supposed to put it on a spoon. The Italians eat it right off the spoon. A little taste, see what you think. It's fire. I gotta say, it's pretty good. And it just gets better when that pot cures. The next day, make it a day ahead, like on a Saturday. Yeah, for Sunday. And Daddy Jack's coming with the blues. I'm a Danza. Look at these guys. Look at these guys with the forks. Look. Look at them. Oh, geez. Really? Nobody said you could have any. I love angel hair. Most people love angel hair. Bob, you want a little bit? Sure. I got it right there for you. Cheers.